Hello, hello, hello. And if you're new here, I'm Anna. And one day I decided to quit my job and start learning programming. And right now I'm studying at School 21. It's the franchise school of School 42 based in Moscow. It's uh, if you want to know more about the schools, I have a playlist dedicated to that. I'll put the link down below this video. And in this video, I want to talk about the online studying uh how did i study programming online at school and it's a kind of a new format for school before they used to have only offline learning uh but in this quarantine period they were obliged to uh, switch the school online tempor temporarily and that's what i'm gonna be talking about in this video stay tuned let's go <laughs> Wow, when we received the message that we were admitted to school, uh, we were allowed to choose between whether to start studying online and offline. And, but for the offline, uh, obviously we needed to wait for, I don't know how much time actually, nobody knows uh, when they start uh, offline for people who subscribe only for offline. And as for online, you could start like straight ahead and they promised that as soon as the school is opened, we could go study offline. So, uh, and that's what I've chosen basically, even though I don't really like studying online. For me, it's very hard. I really just, I am very socialized person. I need this connections, this real interaction between people. It drives me, it energizes me, it motivates me. Um, and, but the thing that just, I don't know about my life, what's going on thing scared me more rather than struggles that I could have uh, studying online. So that's why I've chosen online. In this video, I'll start to talk about how do we study, did we study online at School 21? And then I'm gonna just share my thoughts about online versus offline learning and uh, what struggles did I have uh, and what opportunities and positive things uh, I have learned studying online. Because right now the school is opened and uh, I've been studying like the school is open since last month yeah so basically it's open for one month and um, I, I keep constantly going there and I feel the difference so that's why I can reflect on that so just in general the system of the educational system of school 21 school 42 didn't change uh, basically you needed to submit projects uh, before the deadline and the project is evaluated by your three of your peers and one automatic evaluation. Um, for further projects, you don't have actually automatic evaluations. It's only for the first uh, projects that we had. Um, well, and uh, then just your how basically only the only thing that has changed is about the communication. So uh, right in, during the online learning, we had to defend our project online using Zoom or Discord or any other platform, and we had to record uh, this uh, procedure so that to avoid cheating or maybe miscorrection or any conflicts that we had because we had the recording so administration could verify and give the verdict in any uh, in any case. Basically, if you failed your project, you could submit it once again. Um, you had to wait for one day to retry the project. Ooh. Yeah, you could uh, retry it as much as you, as you want, but the only thing that you need to pass it successfully by the due date, by the deadline. Um, so, but you don't really care about how many times, but, and the thing is that uh, when I just started learning my first project, I was so, um, let's say, I really wanted to submit it once successfully without any retries and I was like really scared of failure and I was so nervous, um, didn't prepare well for it. But the time when you just fail, you, you realize that it's really crucial to fail and you learn from your failures and it's really cool that you failed. And it, I, because you also need to correct, to actually, uh, three people need to correct you and you lose your points and you need to gain points by correcting others. And so that's how you also learn because you um, 
you do the review, the code review of others, other guys. So you check their code and you are able to read. You need to be able to read and understand other people's thoughts, other people's code. And I think it's a very cool skill when you work in, when I'll be working in the future in other companies so that I could understand uh, other people's code, their manner of writing and um, yeah, and the skill to identify any kind of mistakes, any kind of uh, bugs in the code. So that's how it was also with the communication online, the peer-to-peer -peer learning approach. Well, um, actually guys, they just organized lectures online. That was really cool. Uh, also, if you had any question, you could write in Slack or in Telegram. It's a Russian uh, social network and we had the chat there. You could ask your like friends who you met in the PC, but still it wasn't the same as a real communication, I'd say. Even though like sometimes I wrote in the, I could search in the chat in the chats whether there is my question or not i could easily find it by, by like searching or i could ask anyone just write the message and yes yeah, someone for sure they would answer but when once I, I also just i couldn't find the bug in my code i sent the code and someone fixed my bug and explained to me where is the mistake well that's really cool but it's not the same as well as the real communication because i could just ask a stupid question straight ahead like to the peer that is sitting on the left side of me and it could be anyone it could be the guy from like uh, my pc or from any others uh, just very advanced person and it doesn't take me some time and he will or she will definitely reply even if he or she is very occupied he or she will reply like sometime later if not just right now and for me as a person who is a newbie in programming i don't have like the real basics uh, solid basics inside my head so some, I'm always doubting whether it's right thing to do this way or not right thing to do this way and when I google I really want to be sure like what I googled is the right thing by asking someone else as the advanced person in programming yeah and so uh, that's why offline learning for me is better than online uh, but it's not the case for everyone actually I have some friends who are very con who are very comfortable with that uh, one thing because they are not in Moscow for example and it's like there is no reason for them right now to come back and to pay like double amount of the rent that they paid in their hometown the second thing is that they are very comfortable with that they just they could organize themselves easily at their home they don't have job and so or they are like not so sociable person so that's why it's easier for them to be stay home alone uh, but for me, for me, it's just very important to come to school. And so that's why I'm really happy for that, that finally just everything is open, even though we still we need to keep the social distance. We need to wear gloves, masks, but you don't not really notice that when you are there and when you are fully concentrated at school uh, in your projects. And so far, like what was really cool about the online learning is that it's generally about working on remote is that you can uh, do any kind of activity and habit in the morning you don't have to rush and i just um right now i have this habit of doing yoga every day every morning uh just when i wake up uh, i brush my teeth i wash my face and then i go into yoga and it just you know like it's obvious that sport is really important in our lives and it energizes you it um, just somehow gives you more energy uh, some hormones uh, and that's why it just it's a really cool thing right now even though I am offline I still sometimes I skip just maybe one two days a week but no more other days I do yoga and it's really cool I really recommend you to acquire this um, habit to do some sport in the morning it's really really cool and the other cool thing about online learning was that you're more independent and you count only on yourself you have more knowledge in your head it's very cool that you could ask people around you uh, but at the same time you didn't have your real knowledge inside of you and uh, during online I, I think I just had more knowledge because I had to do research myself and that, that was a really cool very positive thing about online system and in order to keep yeah, I told you that I'm a really sociable person. I love people surrounding me. Uh, they drive me and I, during studying on remote, I was searching for this uh, inspiration by uh, attending some webinars that the school organized or there were some calls with the administration of the school and that was amazing actually. Uh, there were also some events with um, with people who were admitted to school earlier and they gave some and they gave advice to us. 
and yeah that really inspired me somehow to to work harder and study more and as well as the just there is a very cool thing called school coffee it's a chatbot that gives you a person uh, who you need to contact and uh, you go for a coffee in the real life but during the pandemic we just had a zoom call um, and I think it's even more important online rather than offline because like this you have sort of more connections with uh, people who you don't know but one, one, one day I just one of my very good friends uh, was a pair with me and we haven't had a call for a long time so that's why yeah that's the time for zoom and that that was really funny but normally it's people who you don't know and so that's you have more connections uh, offline actually from my experience you are constantly meeting someone and someone new and you go for a coffee with them and you just it's natural that, that you have new connections when you're offline, but online it's necessary to have such a thing to, to meet new people. And yeah, and I'm, in spite of the fact that there are many advantages of learning online, I'm still in for offline because here are who I am. And I'm really happy that finally we came back. Hope that the school will be opened and that everything is gonna be okay with the with the coronavirus and that it's all gone I hope I hope and I wish that this kind of situation wouldn't happen in the future well more positive things I will do some videos about how do we study at school like my uh, basically my day uh, it's gonna be I think the next week or in two weeks because I've already recorded it um, yeah and thank you very much actually for watching this video I hope it was interesting and give you some inspiration um, and have a nice day. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.